Time now to get a check on the weather forecast. Let's head over to our E. Han at the Weather Center. And E. Han, the prolonged heat wave and lack of rainfall, it's of course been causing problems all across the nation for the average citizens, but also farmers with severe droughts. That is right, Kanyang. And the picture behind me was taken at a reservoir in the Jindo area yesterday in southeastern Korea. The drought's getting quite serious across the nation. And this summer, the peninsula got less than two thirds the amount of rain it sees an average summer. And in August, we've seen less than 25 millimeters of rainfall nationwide. So it's been a tough month. But some good news for the capital area, at least the heat wave warning was finally downgraded to an advisory this afternoon after eight straight days of temperatures above 35 degrees Celsius. However, tomorrow will not bring too much relief with temperatures similar to today with a chance of spreading showers in the metropolitan areas. So on that note, let's take a closer look at the readings for tomorrow. Now, daily low here in Seoul will start out at 25 degrees Celsius, while Daegu will wake up to a low of 22. And as for the daily highs, Seoul will see a high of 33 degrees Celsius, but Daegu should see a scorching high of 35 degrees Celsius. But relief is definitely on the way starting Friday, but still temperatures will remain above seasonal averages for the time being. That's Korea for you, and here is the international weather for viewers around the world.